you a pastor? Yes, I'm a pastor. You have a church? Yes, I've got a church. You have a church? Yes, pastor. You sit right at the back, pastor. Do you know Calvary Church? Yeah, I'm the pastor there at Calvary Church. You're the pastor of Calvary Church? Yes. I see you looking. Because in your heart, you don't believe in the prophetic. Because as you hear, right at the back, observing, you are wondering, is this true? But how can a man of God doubt the prophetic? What more evidence should the church provide that God does nothing until his prophets know of it? You are pastoring your church with 300 people. Is that correct? It's true. You have 300 people in your church. It's true. And uh, you, you teach the word. Mm -hmm. And you say to people, is that true? <laughs> Let me tell you. I see you last week. Hallelujah. Sitting with two people. Servants of God. Apostle. Jeremiah and Pastor Stefan and you told Apostle Jeremiah <laughs> I see the man of God getting a bit uncomfortable because all that he's spoken secret is about to be revealed in public now you say I don't believe in these prophets and you say don't fall for the prophets and you say they collect people's information and they manipulate it and make it look as if they are prophesying. Family, we do not have time to play private investigators when the world is dying and needs God's intervention. Is that true? Yeah, it's true. Hey! I wonder if this pastor now believes the pastor of his from God or does he still think that this is tricked? How do I know that? Maybe, you know, Jeremiah or my friend Stephen, I don't know. Wow, this man won't be convinced. Maybe I know Jeremiah. I know it maybe because I know Jeremiah. Let's do this. Is this your first time? Yes, it's first time. Do you know anybody in the church? No, no, no. You don't? Nobody in this church? No, it's my first time coming here. It's your first time? It's first time. Coming. Did you speak to anybody about your life? No, I don't know. Yeah. Did you tell anybody that in your wallet you have 200 rand, 50, 50, and 100? Look at how he covers his face in shock. This is purely the power of the prophetic at work. May the world know that God sees everything, but before him, nothing is hidden. Family, he pulls his wallet out, and just as Pastor Alf said it, two 50 rand notes and 100 rand notes, all amounting to 200. Family, let us not box the power of God. I'm finished. I'm finished. Did you tell anybody that you are wearing an underpet that is red? If God has their hairs on our heads numbered, would the color of anyone's undergarment be difficult to locate? Beloved, this pastor was even kind enough to show us that the prophet spoke the truth about the color of his undergarment. This was not to humiliate him, but rather to bring him to the realization that if we say we believe in God, then we ought also to believe in those whom he has appointed, for they are an extension of him. Prophets sit in the council of God, and unto them mysteries and secrets are revealed. Do not doubt God. Hey, this man oh, is man of God, eh? Uh, I'm feeling, yo, he's a man of God. Uh -huh. Did Jeremiah also tell me that you are wearing a red underpaint? <laughs> oh, my man, I don't have words to say, man. You don't have words to say? I don't have any words to say. You see, give God glory. From today, open to the prophetic because your blessing is in there. Unless you open to it, you remain there. Your life is up and down. You are struggling financially. You have people, but they do not stand with you. It's true. The 300 people is 300 trouble. It's true. Financially, you're struggling. Your church is struggling. Right now, I see they have served you a letter. 
to vacate the property, the property because it's a final letter. You owe it three months rent. I'm seeing 52,500. Ah, it's true, my man of God, because I pay 17,500 a month. You pay 17,500. I'm yes. seeing 52,500. A final demand has been sent to you. And let me see. I see a signature that goes as if it's a snake signature. And the person signing it is Linda. The prophetic mental upon Pastor Off is getting extreme. Is that My correct? Goodness. Yeah, 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 yeah. Linda, the owner of the property, say, I am kicking you out of the property. Uh, it's true, my man of God. And it, even as you have come here, you do not know where money will come. You have nothing except 200. But I can help you. God is a God of mercy. In our weakness, his power will be made more visible. This pastor must simply humble himself and accept this. I can help you. Hey, uh, that says the living God. If you will change your heart All right. toward his work and give credit to God, not to the devil, for the works of God, he will take you high. Thank you. Because he knows your heart. Mm. You're an honest person. Thank you, man of God. You were just yeah, blind. A powerful, one. You're a powerful man of God. Of course. Beloved, his eyes have opened up to the truth. We give God the glory. There are pastors out there who are still blind. And they fight God thinking they're fighting the devil. Because they're blind. But that you know that I serve the living God. Amen. Amen. Tomorrow, tomorrow, before the end of the day, you'll receive a call from Linda that will tell you your debt is cancelled. Glory to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. To oh, Jesus. wow. I am so happy that in the end, God's power will be seen so in all of this. Yes. Tomorrow, before the end of the day, you will receive a phone call. Thank you. It will happen just as I said it. Amen. So, Amen. I am an authorized man. 52,500 debt will be cancelled. Oh, Not the following day. Oh. Tomorrow. Oh, no. Before the end of the day. Do you believe it? Oh. All he needs to do now is believe this word. I'm sorry not believing in you. I'm sorry. Yes, you are a powerful man of God. I'm blessed to meet you. Glad to meet you too. Yes, I'm blessed. My name is Alf Lukau. A man sent by God to make his power known in this world. Thank you, Jesus. Tomorrow, before the end of the day, that everyone who's watching around the world may know that our God speaks. Amen. And as the world say, let he who has an ear hear what the Spirit says. Amen. If your God is dead, come and try mine. God dwells supremely in this house. Hallelujah. Lift your hand. I release an impartation of grace over your life. Pray! In the name of Jesus, never the same and doubt God no more. Pastor, give me favor just for two more testimonies. Wait a minute. Is this not the pastor whom Pastor of picked from the crowd and prophesied on just the other night? God is good. God is good. This man did not believe in prophets just 48 hours ago. But today here he stands as one of those who are testifying of God's goodness in a prophetic church. We bless God. I am genuinely moved, beloved. The man of God had released a word upon this pastor that he would receive a call from a lady named Linda, whom he owed over 50,000 rands worth of church rent. Did Linda call as Pastor Off had declared? Or has this man of God come to confirm his initial belief that prophecy is fabricated? I need to hear this. This is getting extreme. It's getting extreme. I say extreme. 
Oh, family, it is getting extreme in this place. Look at him joyfully moving the church flag. Wow, this man has truly underwent a change of heart. God has surely shown himself to be God in his life. I am burning to hear what God has done for him. <sighs> Speak to me. The man of God who Pastor Elf located, who did not believe that everything that's happening here is real. But it, to the power and the knowledge of God, when you had to indicate something that was hidden, this is the man of God experiencing and here to acknowledge that God exists and walk with Pastor Elf. Amen. Glory to God. I spoke to you about debt cancellation. Yes. And I told you the following day it shall happen. It's true, man of Did God. Did it happen? When I come here on Friday, you pick me straight from the crowd. Yes, of course, I was having, you prophesied truly that I was having a problem. I was owing my church. Yesterday, Saturday, Saturday, uh, mid afternoon, Linda called me. The prophetic word has come to pass. Hey. I don't know about you, but the God of my Glory Father is a Jesus. faithful God. At first, I thought maybe I'm crazy or what. Then she said, No, Pastor Patterson, I can see things are difficult, man. Let's cancel the 52. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Wow. Supernatural debt cancellation after the prophet had spoken over his situation. Just as Pastor Alf had said it, the woman called and true to the prophecy, the entire amount has been cancelled. I am shocked. I am shaken and happy to be under this grace. God has done it. This is just amazing. Family, we do not serve a God of stone. Oh no, he is alive and when he intervenes, in a matter, truly things change. Yeah. Hallelujah. Now, how do you trick this? I told him. Only God could have done this. I'm about to say something in your life. Wherever you are, I'm about to say something in your life. As an authorized man of God. And it shall happen by fire, by force. Now, Linda told you, let's just put it aside. You believe now in the prophetic. Man of God, from 52 to 00. zero. <laughs> How can anyone not believe after this? Hallelujah. Hallelujah ministry. God is at work here. Yes, Amen. God lives in this house. Pastor Patron has said it well. Yeah. Uh, come here. He, said he did not believe the man of God, but, but now he has the flag with the face of the man of God. Glory to Jesus. I bless you. Serve God with no debt.